What's up traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol ABUS for Arbitus Biopharma. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first this will of course be an update. We talked about it just yesterday on the sort of announcement that the mRNA sort of uh, dispute I believe it was a trademark or a, or a patent pending type thing uh, it failed right and obviously the stock benefited from that greatly on the Wednesday session but certainly on today falling down a bit off of that 506, which we had marked off. It was literally the sort of high of today's session right around that area. And we certainly spent the majority of the day underneath that area at the 505. If you are not familiar with where that was coming from, let's go ahead and remind you it's either going to be this as your 61.8, or again, we're kind of splitting hairs here. If I do something like this, your 38.2 from the down move is also very, very closely intertwined with that general area. So that's why we were getting that as an area of resistance. That's exactly where we opened, found resistance and faded off of the entire day. Now, the stock isn't completely destroyed. We are still holding up at the lows, but this is an area where I would not really want to be involved to the long side, right? It just doesn't make sense. I suppose if you have a high risk tolerance, this is something you're willing to do, then maybe you can speculate long off of the bottom with a stop loss under here, noting that if we do break down underneath 412, then we very likely fill the gap down to 323. And on a sub $5 stock, right, talking about a dollar move, give or take to the downside, that's roughly... Uh, what would you call that? A 25% plus ish type loss. Oops, that's 25. There we go. 25% loss. If that uh, unfolds and you're long from here, again, you don't want to be wrapped up in a loss that's 25%. doesn't make sense to do things like that unless you've gone in with a position size that's accepting that type of risk. So you either size the position for a type of loss like that, or you have to remain diligent with a disciplined stop loss, where if we start to break down, you cut the loss and move on. So that's one potential setup here. But other than that, I would not really want to be touching the stock in this general area, it needs to prove itself by moving up and over 506, 505, uh, 510, even that, that general area of resistance, which we pointed out with the fibs for anyone to get reinterested in the stock. It's basically also going to coincide now with a break of today's high of day. If that can happen, and if it wants to be punctuated by solid volume down below, then maybe this starts moving to the upside. I do think that it probably needs some sort of catalyst for that to unfold. And if, you know, people start losing interest, then I do think that that is the more likely scenario. So if we can get a headline out there in the news that sort of has a mention of this or some sort of, you know, something going on with the sickness or the cure, if you will, maybe it's enough to move the stock. But if that doesn't happen, again, I would probably look out for the sideways to down uh, sort of outlook here inside of Arbitus. That's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.